Have you ever worked in a data center with hardly any internet access? You know the kind. Where getting package updates usually means walking a USB stick across the room? Scanning for vulnerabilities in that setup? <laughs> yeah, forget about it. Even in more typical enterprise environments, outbound traffic is often locked down, for good reason. But that can make vulnerability scanning a challenge, especially if you're running TuxCare radar in compliance-sensitive or air-gapped environments. But there's a clean, secure way to handle this, proxying radar scans through TuxCare's ePortal. My name is Eric Hendricks, a product marketing manager here at TuxCare. Let's walk through how this works and why it's worth setting up. ePortal is TuxCare's local patch proxy, caches update short term, and keeps your live patching infrastructure off the internet. But here's the lesser known feature. ePortal can also act as a proxy for radar scan results. That means your systems send data to ePortal and ePortal securely forwards it to the radar backend. Think of it as a smart relay, no direct cloud access required. And if you've got hundreds or thousands of servers, you don't need to punch all those holes in your firewall or give every system internet access. One ePortal instance handles it all. Here's what you need. A running ePortal server on your internal network, radar installed on the systems you want to scan, an API key for radar, internal HTTPS access between those systems, and ePortal. On the ePortal host, open the config file, enable proxying, and if you're in the EU and want regional routing, it's just one line. Restart your ePortal service, and you're done. Now, head over to your radar clients, set the base URL to your ePortal instance, leave the other settings alone, then run a manual scan, or just wait for your next cron job to run. Radar sends scan data to ePortal over HTTPS. ePortal then forwards that data to the TuxCare radar backend in the US or EU, depending on your config. No inbound ports, no special agents, no cloud exposure on your client system. To confirm everything's working, check the logs on a client just by tailing them. You can also check the radar dashboard and make sure scan results are coming through. If things aren't working out as expected, here's a few things to check. Make sure base URL resolves correctly on the client. Double check internal SSL certs. Confirm radar proxy enabled isn't commented out. Restart both ePortal and radar. And of course, check the logs. Using ePortal as a proxy for radar gives you a secure, scalable way to run vulnerability scans, even behind the firewall. No running agents, no extra complexity, just clean, controlled scan data forwarded through your infrastructure you already trust. If you're in a regulated environment or just want tighter control, this setup is a no-brainer. Check out the full setup at tuxcare.com radar or reach out for a free trial. Be sure to subscribe to get more tips just like this one. Thank you for watching.